For 12 years, the soil factory has provided a place in Bremerton to buy landscaping material and to dispose of yard debris. It's a valuable public service, according to its owner, Marty Goit. We uh, sell landscape supply, uh, everything from uh, rock to, to uh, beauty bark, and we have a recycle yard where we bring in concrete uh, for recycle and a brush for recycle. But the soil factory, which has operated on a special permit to be in a residential area, has angered neighbors who say dust, noise, and odors interfere with their quality of life. The conflict that we have is that the city of Bremerton has allowed an industrial complex, such as a gravel pit, to not only be here, but also to grow over the years exponentially so that by the time it came to 2013, we ended up with such a noisy, dusty, odorous mess that it was just too much for us to handle. This pit has devalued our property values to no end. The city of Bremerton believes the soil factory has outgrown its space and no longer belongs there. The soil factory's operations have been greatly curtailed under an agreement signed with the city. And, if the city is successful at changing the zoning there to commercial, the soil factory will have to close altogether. We've uh, taken all the screens, the grinders, the crushers, and uh, we're exporting them all out of here and uh, downscaling after spending a million dollars on equipment to do the functions that we needed to do here. Over, it took that long, five, six years, to get enough money to buy the equipment to do all this. So uh, well, now we're done. That pleases the neighbors, but Goit worries about what will happen when his service is no longer available. We're the main hub for, for a 15 mile, 20 mile radius of all the neighborhoods, all the landscapers, all the 50, 100 different companies and thousands of uh, homeowners that come here uh, during the course of the year. For the Kitsap Sun, I'm Josh Farley reporting.